Hey, Jim. It's going to be a very special day today. Because you know what? <gasps> I'm going to do it. I'm going to paint the Z4. You know, some of you guys probably watch uh, a channel called Tavarish. And he's had some projects he's been working on for years. Uh, I think he just finished rebuilding a, a Bentley that he bought like two years ago. And it's just been sitting there. He tore it apart. So this, I started painting it, uh, I think it was about six months ago. So I'm, I'm actually going to paint it today. Or at least start. <laughs> There's going to be paint on the exterior of this car by the end of this episode. <sighs> Keep your fingers crossed. I think I've taught myself how to do it. Uh, I practiced a little bit on the old uh, Mercedes hardtop that I had. That was in a previous episode. And I think I've got it under control enough to go ahead and paint this car. So we're going for it with a Harbor Freight Black Widow spray gun. This is the tool of the hour and uh for anybody that hasn't seen the previous video i picked this up off of ebay i got it from a pawn shop it was brand new still in the sealed box and i paid about a 100 bucks for it and i think there was like ten dollar shipping or something so but it's about half of what it would have cost if i'd have bought it at harbor freight and i practiced with it a little bit and i had marginally okay results on the uh, Mercedes junkyard hardtop that I was practicing on but I was able to recover with a wet sand and a buff to where it looked pretty good so now I'm feeling confident enough to just go for it and get this thing painted because I'd really like to get it put back together get it back on the road and get it out of here so I can do uh, uh, other projects I have some work I have to do on my beautiful manual transmission 650i including some paint restoration work on it so this will be a good exercise preparing for that and it'll just be nice to get this thing back in the road i really like this car and it'll be kind of cool because i'm going to paint it high gloss black so hopefully <laughs> it'll come out high gloss and uh, if it really comes out terrible well then i'll probably end up doing a video on how to do vinyl wrap on your z4 let's hope it doesn't come to that I went over the whole shebang uh, yesterday again uh, with 400 grit, just looking for any tiny little flaws. And I really didn't find any, but right here. So I went ahead and did just a tiny little bit of spot putty in there. I'm going to uh, wait for that to completely cure. It's probably already cured. And touch that up a little bit. Uh, then uh, the last steps are going to be... Uh, I'm going to clean the floor in here and I'm going to actually um, hose out the floor to get any uh, loose dust or anything and I'm going to leave the floor a little bit wet. I have put up plastic here and there over anything that I don't want to have covered in overspray. I'm going to add some more plastic over here over my fridge and that kind of thing. Um, but then uh, I'm going to take a tack cloth and take a tack cloth and go over the whole car one last time to get the very last little bits of dust or anything that could still be on the surface. Then I'm going to mix up my black paint with this stuff. And I've got this fancy cup to mix it in. And as you'll recall, the way that my experiments worked, um, I found that uh, I got a slightly better finish when I thinned this stuff about 10 or 15 percent with acetone just to make it a little bit thinner viscosity and it seemed to flow out a little bit better on the body panel that I was practicing on. So that's what we're going to do here again and it all should work out and I have to blow all the dust off the car and all of that so let me get on that so we can get some paint fumes in the air. It's a little bit too warm in here. Um, looks like it's about 84, 
Uh, it's a lot better than it was all last week. I kept thinking about trying to do this Tuesday or Wednesday, but it was like 95, 96 in here. Today it's 84. Yeah, it's probably a little bit warm, but we're going to go for it anyway. I have hosed out the garage, and let me show you. I'm going to wet it down a little bit more right before I start spraying. I've got my garage door down just to where I've got a couple of fans that are blowing out, not in. And also over my garage door opening, I have a screen, which you can't really see that well. That's the black bottom of the screen right there. So the whole garage, like where I'm getting ventilation on the top here, is actually covered with a screen. So I shouldn't get any bugs coming in. I have eliminated any existing bugs that were in here. There were a couple and I was able to get rid of them with an electronic fly swatter. Thought about spraying uh, some raid in here, but decided that probably wouldn't be a good idea because who knows what a tiny little bit of that floating around in here will do to my paint. So I have on a do-rag because when I was painting this black paint the other day on my Mercedes top when I was practicing, I noticed when I got in the shower that evening to wash my hair, Kind of like it had permanent uh, hairspray on it. Mm, not good. So, do-rag's going to take uh, the brunt of the paint today, I hope. <laughs> you might have noticed that the car is up quite a bit higher. I have it on my beautiful Harbor Freight lift. And I've raised it up because I've decided, normally I would think the logical thing to do would be to start on the very top part of the car and paint the hood and paint the trunk and then work my way down the sides and that's probably the right way to do it don't know for sure but i've decided uh, uh when i go to paint the roof or not the roof there is no roof when i go to paint the hood and the top of the trunk i'm going to lower the car way down so it's real easy to reach across and and do the actual hood paint job with the car way down low right now i have it up high and that way i'm going to actually start on the bottom that way i can kind of get control of what's happening you know if i paint along the bottom here that's a part of the car that's not really that it's visible but it's not as visible as the top of the hood the top of the hood when you're sitting behind the wheel you're looking right across it so the hood has to be really as close to perfect as it can be. Beyond that, the rest of the car is, you know, less perfect is probably okay. And that's why I'm gonna do the hood last. Uh, I, I, I hope that's not a bad idea, but that's uh, how I've rationalized it out here in my mind. That's gonna be the best thing to do last after I've practiced a little bit more on the rest of the car. And this calls for two coats with a 10 minute flash time in between um, it seemed to work pretty good on my practice panel when I did the first coat. It was basically uh, two passes, two wet passes. And then I let that flash for 10 minutes and then did a second uh, two passes and called that one coat. So again, I'm going to try to replicate what I basically did on that practice panel the time that it sort of worked out okay. And I hope this comes out way better because this should have way less dust exposure. I mean, when I painted that panel outside, it was right underneath the house and there was a little breeze and all this dirt was coming off the roof and landing on the roof of the house and landing on the roof that I was painting. And so hopefully all of that problem will not happen here and we're gonna have a passable do-it-yourself in a dirty garage paint job. I'm crossing my fingers again. I'm gonna go uh, mix up some paint and then I'm going to put the camera somewhere over here on a tripod and I'm gonna put it on time lapse and I'm gonna start painting. So, <laughs> here we go.
got to be careful and not let the sweat drip off my nose onto the uh, beautiful black Z4. Yeah, uh-huh. That's first coat. So I'm waiting a few minutes, and then I'm going to go all the way around it, and I'm going to give it a second coat. But let's have a quick walk around. Okay, first coat. It's not looking too terrible. There's a bit of orange peel on the hood, but I think that will uh, be corrected quite a bit with the second coat. And I did see one spot on here where I had a little sag on one of the corners, but overall it looks pretty good. You know, there's uh, some little uh, overspray spots, but all that stuff will smooth right out with a second coat and then a color sand and a buff. So, uh, all in all, I can see a bit of dust in it. Nowhere near as much as I had on that test piece that ended up coming out pretty good. So, I think after a second coat, this thing is going to be pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Everybody needs a black Z4, right? Okay, well, I'm going to do the second coat, and then I'll check back in with you. So we'll see how it shaped up after the second coat. Okay. I think it kind of worked okay. Yeah. Let's have a look. It has definitely got a little bit of dust in it here and there. But I think that can all be recovered from uh, a little wet sanding. And I do have... Looks like a little sag right there. Um, but, you know, like I'd said before, any of this stuff that doesn't uh, polish out nice and smooth, I can always respray just a panel because this is non-metallic and it'll still probably match okay. So I painted all the little parts. There's the gas cap. Yeah. Everything's got a little bit of orange peel, but I think, I think, I think it's going to come out okay. I think it's going to come out okay. <laughs> so, six months in, finally painted it. Yay. So now it has to sit for, uh, I don't know, a couple of days, and then I'll probably start working on it. Before I put it back together, I'm going to go ahead and do the wet sand and all of the buff and all of that to make sure that the paint worked out okay. And then once it's all polished up in a few days, then I'll put it back together. I'll probably make a video of putting it back together and that it's going to be back on the road looking good yeah thanks for watching <laughs> nice a little bit of dust that's all right we can fix that not bad for a crappy crowded garage.